said, what? And I looked back, I'm like, oh my God. And I went, to put this in fast, <laughs> couldn't go fast enough. Candace Morrison was on her everyday trip around her neighborhood near the senior center she lives at in Mesa. Within seconds, a person driving stops right next to her, yelling at her that a coyote is chasing her. This thing goes six miles an hour. I'm like, come on. <laughs> but I was scared. I was just like sweating. Candace says the person followed her all the way home until she was safe. He's a guardian angel because I was afraid. I think the car scared him. That coyote came uh, right up to our property. Within the last month, there have been multiple run-ins with coyotes across the valley. In separate cases, two toddlers were attacked in North Scottsdale. Luckily, they weren't seriously hurt. Arizona Game and Fish say the root cause of human and wildlife conflict is giving these animals easy access to food and water. They say once animals like coyotes associate people with food, they lose their fear. So Game and Fish says if you do encounter a coyote, you should keep eye contact, do not turn and run away, yell in low, loud tones, and if needed, use repellent like pepper spray. I'm afraid. In that, especially I would go at night, sometimes to goodwill just to go browsing. I don't think I'm gonna go out there. I need to get some uh, mace, I think. Yeah, well, luckily Candace is safe. Now, if you see any coyotes or wildlife acting aggressively, you can call the Arizona Game and Fish. We have their phone number on our news app and our website, azfamily.com. In Phoenix, I'm Holly Bach for Arizona's Family.